stewards of land and season as well as an extension of those hands that brought life and character to it. You can taste the earth or the ocean breeze and feel the joy in the journey. A couple of months ago, I was introduced to Ribera Vineyard Wine in Oregon by a fun couple, Molly and Daryl Roby. And now, I want to share them with you. Ribera's story is not one of tens of thousands of factory pallets, but hundreds of specially handcrafted cases. Each vintage from this particular estate is evolving as they nurture the vine and the relationships they have planted since 2003. Sure, Willamette Valley kicks some serious grape when it comes to the world of wine, but Rubira expressed the love that Molly and Dell bring to the mix. I love cooking with wine and sometimes it even makes it into the meal. Wine normally takes on memories of the moments in which it is shared. I want to introduce you to an Oregon wine that made nice memories for me. We have four lovely wines here that I'm serving from Ribera Estate. First, the 2007 Chardonnay from Willamette Valley. Next, 2006 Merlot from Umqua Valley. Then, a 2008 Shiraz from Columbia Valley. And finally, a 2009 Viognier from Yakima Valley. Today, I'm making my toasted twist outside on the barbecue. Some tasty treats to pair with and enhance the whole experience. To start with, a beer bread with apple dip. Very easy to make. Just flour and a beer. Done. Next, a grilled tomato and eggplant salad, seasoned with cumin, coriander and allspice. Now, my all-time favorite. Chicken livers wrapped in bacon with mushroom and prunes for sweetness. Then, salmon and cucumber kebabs, complemented with a side of fresh spring orzo. Topping it all off, my toasted twist. Pancakes on the fire with banana and an awesome butter and sugar orange liqueur sauce. Can't wait! Let's jump in! Hi, I'm Deborah G, the Toasted Hostess. I'm so excited to share my first pairing of the spring with you and it's all thanks to my friends at Ribera. I have Ribera's Chardonnay 2007 which I'm pairing with a beer bread and an apple dip. The salad I'm serving to kick off this meal is a spiced eggplant salad. The aromas in this Chardonnay reminds me so much of fall and bring out the fantastic flavor of the spices in my salad. I'm going to try and see if this is good. The silky smoothness of this wine pulls you right back into it. The compelling persuasive tones of this wine falls right in line with the apple dip on the bread. The bacon and chicken livers present rustic, manly flavors with matching textures that relate to the toasty, the smoky flavors in this Merlot. Wait, wait, wait! I would love to try this with the Shiraz because typically Shiraz have earthy and dark cherry flavors and I think it'd be such a sexy pairing with the prune and the mushroom. I was right. This Merlot has got a wild berry flavor and aromas. And did you know, grapes are actually classified as wild berries. I chose a very mild flavored salmon with just enough firmness and oils that complements the Shiraz beautifully. The refined tannins and the specifically sculptured acidity in this wine makes you want to keep on eating and drinking. Old fashioned Namibia pancakes. This brings so much beautiful memories from my childhood. I've attempted my toasted twist today on the fire. You might think I'm serving this backwards, but this Viognier has got 4% residual sugar. That means it's slightly sweeter and it will be perfect with the brown sugar, the butter and the orange liqueur in this pancake. It's a perfect pairing. Let me 
Until next time, remember, life is too short. Always drink good wine.